uh, controversy after Senator Eric Betts, um, when talking about um, gay marriage, used the word Negro to describe an African-American Supreme Court justice. Those sort of analogies are quite offensive, and that sort of... No, it's not. I, it is not no, offensive. It was, well, was let's... completely debunked by Justice Clarence Thomas, the Negro uh, American on the Supreme Court of the United Negro. States, dealing with this issue, who dissented on the issue of marriage as well. What, what are your thoughts on that? Just go a step further tonight. Uh, you know, I have to be honest. I think um, poor Eric Abetz is in turmoil. I think he's at the end of his career and he needs to step down. There's no other choice for Why? Eric Abetz. Why? Because he used the word Negro. No, because first, and first of all, it's not just about that, but Eric Abetz has done very little for Tasmania in the last 20 years that he's, he's been there. And right now he's been demoted. He's on the back, back bench. His career's all but over, so do the right thing. Use the courage that he's got left and step down and let somebody young and let somebody have a go at the next election. Because he said the word is. Negro. The word Negro is not offensive. It's used by black American, older black Americans, and Martin Luther King used it in his I Have a Dream speech. Oh, that's, it's a different thing, uh, an African American saying it, though, is it not? Um, no, it's fine to use okay. it. OK, well, uh, Mark? Oh, well, uh, there, Carl, Jackie did call for the senator to resign because he'd used the word Negro, which is just absurd in that... Um, uh, where's the offence in such a word? Back in the 70s and 80s, Negro was actually a respected, uh, dignified uh, uh, alternative to really racist terms like nigger and darky. So uh, I must have missed the memo somewhere <laughs> in the 90s, as to, or more recently, as to when Negro became uh, unacceptable. You think Negro's OK? Well, you know, I'm happy to make my weekly donation to Australia's outrage industry mm. by saying Negro, <laughs> Negro, Negro. Okay. And beyond that, and beyond that, I've found out that at the ABC you can't use the word Aborigine. Mm. It's now got to the absurdity of, of policing political correctness in Australia that at the ABC they can broadcast the word sea struck which is as ribald as it comes out of the, the mouth of Michael Lawler on Four Corners, but they can't use the word Aboriginal. Well, this is, I, I, this I, is totally out I, of control. I personally find you using uh, the term Negro offensive. Well, I missed and the I'm memo. Like, when did you get the memo? Well, Tell me the date when that became offensive. Do you, do you want to have it? In the 60s. Yeah, that's the Black Power Movement well, said oh, that black. that was no longer the way that black African Americans were experienced. Are, okay, are we OK with the definition? Are we all right with the definition out of the Oxford Dictionary then on what Negro means? Are you OK with that? Well, it I'd, says I'd, here, I'd look at the it says here, the word group. Negro is an offensive term referring oh, to a member well, of a black or dark-skinned group of peoples that exist or originated in Africa, in Africa South or of the uh, Zahara. Well, Carl, I could you, walk you, through any street in Western so Sydney and no one, no, one would find, no one would find Negro offensive. I don't think that's true. And, and, and who are these unelected, self-appointed people who've decided that we all need to speak well, like them? Who are these you people? You sound like white who, trash right, talking right. like that. Oh, well, that's, just, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. All right, Rachel, you're up. Look, I think that the, you know, the word Negro back in the 1960s from the Black Power Movement, they decided that Negro was a word that was used by white people to put them down and that preferred either black and that moved to African American. Now, I think when it comes to things with political correctness, we have to, as white Australians, check our privilege. Mm. The, and also the outrage has to be measured against what the actual comment was. If the African American or African Australian community think that that's offensive, exactly. I am absolutely, absolutely. fine to I say agree. that as who, nothing to my comment. When did you last talk to them? This, this is a known fact. No, 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 no. You say you know what they think, but you don't talk to them. Well, well. Listen, I mean, they've got they've got fundraising organisations in the United States and, and, that and, and use with the word look, Negro. This is elitist, and Mark, arrogant nonsense. And Mark, that is it, with, 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 if you don't even talk to the with, people that with, you're talking hang on, about. Hang on a second. With the greatest respect, um, there's what seven white people around here debating on what black people exactly. would find offensive. Mm. So let's try and find out a bit more about it. But I guarantee you, I guarantee you that that they. Well, you need a bit more than the Oxford Dictionary, Carl. You need a bit more than a dictionary. Day and see how they feel. Hmm. That's the more the issue. And you yeah. see, you've got people who are walking faith. If a particular as an religion, individual if a particular person, okay. yes. you walk in my shoes yes. for a day and feel how I feel each day when I get up. Oh, and I as an, example, as an example, someone in the audience well, he's says... He's not an African-American. No, but he's <laughs> an Indigenous about? Australian. If oh, any, he's an Aborigine. If any group, he's an Aborigine, but you can't say that on the ABC. People, if any group of people take offence at any language, whether we say wog, dago, abo, whatever, if that particular group 
are asking us they get offended by that use of language. We Surely should be respectful. That's Sandy, that's not how it works. Political correctness is well, not, he's just saying not that's how underprivileged it works. or people, voiceless people saying we're offended. It's the elites, it's the chattering classes who decide from day to day, as it suits them, what particular language that they will allow and what language they won't. And usually they don't allow language that's expressed by people that they are ideologically opposed to, like Erica Betts. So you can bet your bottom dollar that if someone that was was a you know a green if Andrew Wilkie or someone had said Negro no one would have minded it was because what? it was Erica Betts. Do you know oh, what that's sorry. rubbish because I've got Indigenous me and if someone calls me a coon I don't like that I find that offensive so you know of course it's no it is. different than but Negro. That's a, complete, it is. That's, that's a swear word Negro is not a swear word. Well you know what people did take offence to it and that's why we're having the discussion yeah. now and it's so well, you rather than offending people you took offence. It's okay. It's all right, so, so Campbell, um, you're up now. Have, you've been strangely silent. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, you, you played, you played been... with Indigenous Australians um, and, and um, over many, many years. And what would you think they would think of that word? Uh, yeah, they'd be offended by it. Okay, um, but, you, but you're not politically correct. I'm not politically correct. And some examples of politi political correctness gone absolutely crazy in this country is that Santa Claus is walking around the supermarkets aren't allowed to say ho, ho, ho anymore because it offends women. <laughs> and no, this, is, this, is, this is Fair Dinkum. Did you know that what Sea World... What shopping centre are you going to, bro? <laughs> Did you know that Sea World, sea World, <laughs> sea World have changed the name of fairy penguins to little penguins because it, it might uh, oh, offend oh, the gut. No. I'm telling You're you right kidding. now, Bar Bar Black Sheep in schools has no longer said it's Bar Bar Rainbow Sheep. There's schools out there. <laughs> that is there's true, that there's over. schools out there that can't celebrate Christmas yeah, right, because it offends Christmas some non-believers. Yeah, right, and yeah. and these are the sort of yeah. things coming into day to day into Australia, which, as far as I'm concerned, none of what I've just said there mm. is politically incorrect at all. And if it is, you can get stuck. But, but that, <laughs> and, and I agree with you to an extent. Um, but you playing with Indigenous Australians, you would respect what what they found offensive and what they found absolutely yeah no doubt about that and we've we've come a, a very long way and that's why I was sitting out of this because it was all very heated mm. and uh, and I must I must disagree with you Mark that uh, you know unless you've actually walked in their shoes like uh, that man was saying mm. and and been around these guys um, for many many years and know what they like and what they dislike, yeah, you, you just what can't the real comment about it. disrespect is, Campbell, you and Carl, the real disrespect is to assume Indigenous Australians speak with one voice, mm. that they're all the same. Because you don't know them that well, they're all the same, they all find but the same uh, expression, expression offensive. Isn't that well, the a a I, I'm assuming they're real people, a real community with inevitably a diversity of opinion, okay. which, hello, is reality you know in any community. Mark, Mark, so Mark, I think Mark, there's a terrible arrogance Mark, in assuming fine. they all speak with that's one voice. Fine, that's all fine. Really then if you, um, if you have a voice out there and you're watching and you want your say about what Mark has said, then please let us know. We'll post your thoughts live throughout the show. Uh, here is what's coming up.